Tatas is one of the things I call my chest. If I'm referring to the whole area, it's just chest. Chest works well. Um, sometimes pecs, sometimes. Yeah, they're called babies, they're my babies. Um, all the girls. Boobs. <laughs> That's about it, really. Hello, I'm George Fowler. I'm a transgender man, but most people know me best as this, which is Hugo Girl, who is a drag king. Hi, I'm Lexi. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm an academic. I'm transgender. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. Kia ora, my name is Ramon Tawake. I am 43 years old. I am a trans woman. Growing up, I had a complex relationship to my body in general. Puberty was like a really scary time. But I would get, have, get out of the shower and I would look at myself in the mirror and it was always a hint of, well, what's that? And the further down my body I got, the more it was, what's that? I was completely devastated and disappointed um, because, you know, I didn't develop bosoms. I would resort to, like, bras and then stuffing bras, like I think a lot of people can relate to in general. I got this, like, spacey, faraway feeling, like I wasn't, wasn't connected with what was happening at all. It's a bit like living in a hotel room, having the wrong body. You're in a hotel room and you don't know what it's like to actually live in your own home. I was a showgirl from, like, 16, 17. There was a trio of us and we were performing a group called Pure Funk and they were obsessed with big kahunas, so these were, like... So we used to have, like, uh, socks, this is going to be so embarrassing, um, with condoms in them filled with water, so that would give us, like, big bouncy boobs. And they would do things like slide up and down the floor, and I'm thinking, bitch, they are so going to pop. But it wasn't until I started taking hormones um, that I developed boobs naturally. So I took these two little blue pills. Anything? No. Still this hairy, flat sort of thing. And I forgot about it. Putting on, like, male contour for the first time and taping for the first time and just having this, like, <gasps> holy shit! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. This is great. The body is not angular anymore. The shape has changed. My hips have changed. And there are breasts. And honestly, I just cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. Suddenly, I was authentic. I was looking at my house as opposed to my hotel room. My flatmate, she's divine. She's like lace and everything's like really pretty and matching and like, mm, and I'm like, oh, it's so much effort. But you know, I'm just like, oh, I've had a bra for three years. This will do fine. <laughs> Push the girls up, I'm out. Daily, I uh, wear a binder. Wish I washed this. It literally just flattens everything out and you kind of like hoik your tits to the side into your armpits under it so it kind of sits like up here um, and it does a pretty pretty bloody good job under a thick black t-shirt. A binder is not comfortable to wear. Uh, uh, my back is fucked. You're constricting all this area so your back muscles get lazy. Isn't that nuts? Interesting story. I never knew that trans women were susceptible to breast cancer. Now, that might sound like a really dumb thing to say or think, but um, I don't think that. And I also realise that men can get breast cancer as well. When you get the letter saying you've got to go and have a mammogram, um, that's another... It's like getting another birth certificate to be able to do that. Oh, man, I go in and buy the weirdest shit from Bunnings. So I'm looking for something, like, you know, because it has to be, like, sweat resistant. So when I take this off, sweat will just fall out of it. Isn't that, bleh, it's disgusting, it'll go And he'd be like, what is this for? I'd be like, um, an art project? I'm fairly sure he thought it was just sex. My friend owns a bar, um, and he quite often would ring me and say to me, you've got two bras here. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, how did that happen? Why is there two? I don't know. I don't know. There's just people relate to their bodies in all different sorts of ways. For trans people, that's much harder. You know, you're transgressing the big weird line in the sand called gender. Like, that's a really big social move. I wish that we talked about our bodies more as trans women and trans men as trans people, uh, or we're given the space to talk about our bodies more. For me, I'm proud of the fact that they are mine. They are mine, and I grew them myself. Um, they are nearly 20 years old, so they've got through their teenage years. <laughs>
That's incredibly powerful uh, and a delight to be able to look in the mirror and go, this is me. This is me. The journey has been worth it. 